1616. The tower, the destruction of male god rule, the rest of the pictures, flashcards of the tarot have to do with the return to the original form of the kingdom of our creator. Therefore, the next three cards are the major dynamic step cards of this path. The first step along this path home is the initialization of the release of our creator's children from the bondage of the rebellion slash battle and slash confusion. The tower in this card is the symbol of the power of the male god rule of this Corinthian, the obelisk, the phallic monuments of the world. Also, the notion of a tower show direct rule and power as in the case for those elite currently ruling both this earth and the universe surrounding. In order for this power to be broken the very tower of their power must be torn down. In this picture flash card we see two direct attacks being made upon this tower, the initiating attack from below from those here, below on earth as well then the secondary attack which results from the awakening slash opening of the eternal female collective in this case, yes eternal females have eyes as, well, not just Taurus this card is attributed to the letter K, which means a mouth, it refers to the planet Mars at the bottom part of the card, therefore, is shown the destruction of the old established in by lightning, flames, engines of war. In the right hand corner are the jaws of dis belching flame at the root of the structure. Dot 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 Aleister Crowley, the book of the page 141 of 233. Therefore, the first initiatory defensive attack is shown in the very name of this picture flash card. Dot the mouth. And from this mouth belches the flames of truth so cautiously held secret by those ruling from the top of this tower of Lucifer flash set. This fire is shown in the form of Sagittarius whose minor picture flash card is the fire of fire. In this way, this picture flash card ties to the original statement of this treatise in which the blessed one born in Sagittarius fire of fire will let loose his arrow truth and initiate both the destruction of the tower and the awakening of the female collective. Long held hostage in Babylon slash confusion the color of fire for this reason for me it's the entirety of this picture flash card because of this awakening the war is taken from the depths of the earth to the heights of the eternals as the return of the dove eternal twin flame love offering the olive branch forgiveness to separated mates to the right side power of the eye watchers and the likewise return of the serpent eternal technical knowledge to its proper left side weakness forms the basis of the struggle Notice the expression of pain on the face of the serpent to the enlightening lightning bolts emanating from the eye while the duck flies unscathed under these bolts. It will be noticed that they have lost their human shape. They have become mere geometrical expressions. Dot 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 Aleister Crowley, the book of the And yes, those who have long ruled from this tower have lost their human shape as well their very humanity. They are shown crystalline for their very hard and cold hearts. The very nature of their initiation into the power structure which rejects the foundational twin flame directive in every way. There is a direct reference to this card in the Book of the Law. In Chapter I, Verse 57, the Goddess Nuit speaks, Invoke me under my stars, love is the law, love under will. Nor let the fools mistake love, for there are love and love. There is the dove, and there is the serpent, choose ye well. He, my prophet, hath chosen knowing the law of the fortress, and the great mystery of the house of God. Dot 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 Crowley, the book of the notice above that knew it does not capitalize law because she is pointing to the law of those who reject love in all its forms, trading love for mere power. Yes, there is the dove and the serpent as described above and one must choose ye well, for her prophet knows the law small laws of the phallic worshippers of the fortress tower. The law of the exaltation of knowledge flash secrets over love. That small law of the serpent is in fact the law of this tower while the great mystery of the house flash family of God is in fact the twin flame foundation of such house flash family. And as this picture flash card plainly shows, this very understanding is the very flame page 142 of 233, which issues the destruction of the phallic tower rule. All these old letters of my book are right, but Zerbi is not the star. This also is secret, my prophet shall reveal it to the wise. Book of the Law Chapter I, Verse 57 The path from the second circuit to the fourth brain circuit Yazad to net sash is called Zerdai which means fish hook in Hebrew. This meaning is related to experimentation, quest, and research, to solve problems and to discover secrets. The above quote simply verifies the previous assertions. Indeed Zerdai is no star but rather the weak serpent whose place has been swapped with the star of law. 
the return of Zedai to its rightful place will return the kingdom of God to its previous glory as shown in the following pictures flash cards. This is perhaps why the renunciation of law in all the ordinary senses of the word has been so constantly announced as the first step toward initiation. Alistair Crowley, the book of the and again the above further illustrates and proves the user patient of law as the very initiates into this tower of rule must first reject all ordinary twin flame senses of the word love. If one will bother to look around themselves and open their eyes, their primary tactic of male-slash-female alienation is easily seen permeating the rule of both this earth and the universe. Their primary mover God Eros has been the foundational destroyer of the ends and therefore will his death signal the end of their rule and the return of all to happiness peace and love.